Hey everyone, this is Matt St. John. Really appreciate everyone taking time to join our webinar, uh, the Pacific Northwest Acumatica User Group Follow-Up. Um, and I uh, just want to first off again say how great the user group was. Uh, it was a really good turnout and you, everyone there really made some great headway. Um, so again, a really great user group. So uh, with today, I'm going to go over a quick webinar about Starship and that integration with Acumatica. Um, I'll also put up all my contact information. And again, this will be a brief overview. So if anyone would like to afterwards, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to schedule a more one-on-one -on -one in depth demo overview. Um, and we, we can go from there. Okay, so real quick, a little bit about B Technologies. We actually are located in Connecticut. All of our sales support development, uh, we do everything in-house. As you see, we've been developing integrated shipping solutions uh, since 1987. Uh, we are a UPS ready as well as a FedEx Platinum um, compatible solution. So certified solutions for both UPS and FedEx. Uh, we've been working with the Acumatica interface for over five years now. Um, so one of our, our latest, uh, not so much latest, but uh, we've actually been integrating with uh, currently over a dozen ERP systems. So uh, nice to uh, work with Acumatica, great program to integrate with. I also currently have over 10,000, well, about 10,000 customers that are using our integrated shipping solutions uh, to process their shipment. And again, we'll jump in. I'm going to do a demo, so we'll go over all, the, all these points here, but real quick, uh, again, as an overview, uh, as you're going to see with Acumatica, literally plug and play integration. Uh, we're going to offer multiple workflows. Uh, so you'll see we can pull by shipment record, sales order record, uh, a lot of different options on, on how we want to use Starship and that integration to Acumatica. But with, Ac with Starship, the integration to Acumatica, nice thing as a shipper, I can just work inside of the Starship program. As you see, it is multi carrier, multi mode. So I am going to be able to process my uh, LTL shipments, parcel shipments, even international shipments just from one user interface. Uh, we're going to allow for custom rules. So that could be ship via rules, freight printing rules, uh, even uh, freight rules, uh, printing logic. Uh, again, I'll show you all this in the demonstration. Uh, also, integration to EDI, um, uh, as well as warehouse management solution. You know, Acumatica now has the new built-in warehouse management solution. Uh, so I'll touch base on, the, on that in, during the demonstration. Uh, but with the EDI, uh, you know, a nice thing is Starship's going to be able to take all that required shipment information, send it back into Acumatica. So then your EDI solution can grab that and upload it to the trading partners or generate those ASNs. Uh, but with Starship, we can even generate the 128 labels. The nice thing being with that is, hey, right at time of shipment, I can have those 128 labels print right out. So a lot of times clients, you know, the workflow is, Oh, you know, I, I process my shipment and then I send the information to the where the front office. They then go through EDI, generate the ASNs, and then generate 128 labels. Um, so then we take those labels, go back to the warehouse and say, okay, here are your labels. You know, good luck finding those pallets or shipments that you've already processed earlier on in the day. Again, right at time of shipment, the shipper could receive that 128 label. And with, um, our, our, our support team, uh, world-class support. So one of the nice things that, about our support team is, you know, every time I go to shows, people come up to me and, and I, I kind of get nervous. They're like, I got to tell you something about your support, but it's always good things. You know, uh, they, our group of guys have been working with not only Starship, but even all the individual ERP systems for a very long time now. So uh, they're trained in both. And really quick, kind of a new feature we've added inside of Acumatica, as you see, is the ability to rate shop right from sales order entry. Uh, so as a customer service rep, I can actually see my live negotiated rates when I'm putting in an order. And I'll touch, you know, show you that in during the demo as well. Uh, here is a list of some of those carriers that we also integrate with. Um, so again, just a snapshot of some, but the nice thing with the carrier integration is I'm going to be able to see my live negotiated rates and again, that's either at time of order or when I'm inside Starship processing shipments. So, uh, again, LTL as well as parcel shipments. Now, these integrations, you also gain access to other electronic features, like, for example, with an LTL carrier, uh, we can automatically notify them that, hey, you know, they have a shipment ready to go. So as a, as a shipper now, I don't have to stop and call that carrier and say, oh, you know, I have a shipment ready to be picked up. 
I also fully support any additional contract options that uh, customers or clients might have with the carriers. Uh, you know, for uh, electronic pickup, as I mentioned, there's electronic bill rating forms um, with like UPS FedEx even fully support them handling the delivery of required international documents. Okay. So full integration, live rate shopping, no staging tables. Tomorrow, if UPS up say their fuel surcharge, when I rate shop tomorrow, I gain access to those new negotiated rates. So let me jump into the demo. Okay, so let me make this full screen. Uh, and like I said, let me first, I'll just jump into you, into Acumatica. I'll go with this sales order entry here. So I've already had an entry up, up and going here, but here's that Starship button. So this is gonna pop up as you see the Starship rate quote screen. So again, at time of order, I can actually do live rating. And I'm gonna be able to see all the order details. And here's my sender, my recipient, the ship via information, even the packaging I can get into of building the packaging. So this order is one item, but or actually it's gonna be a couple items, uh, but I can get into, you know, maybe I know this goes into two different boxes. You know, I can build the shipment right at time of order. And I know a lot of times customer service reps might not know how the shipment goes out the door, but uh, as you can see, they can actually build the shipment and then down below see all the actual rates. Uh, now from here, once I click apply, if I do make a change to the carrier service, even here I can do address validation. Uh, maybe the address gets changed due to validation. Um, any changes I make, Starship, once I click apply, will reverse translate and update that sales order. Okay. So let me just jump back into Starship here. So here is the Starship program. Again, as I mentioned, as a shipper, I can actually just work inside Starship. So I technically don't need access to Acumatica. Uh, we can pull by sales order, by shipment, or even by customer numbers. Uh, so if I do happen to pull by sales order number, uh, what Starship will do as soon as my shipper ships and processes the order, of course, write back all that shipment information, but it will also create the shipment record inside of Acumatica. Okay? So it could potentially save a step depending on current customers or clients' workflows. Um, you know, if someone's manually going to create that shipment record, Starship can do that just by pulling by the sales order number. Now with the shipment record, two different ways. Uh, I have the options inside Starship and for the demo, I'll build my shipment, shipment right inside of Starship. And you're gonna see Starship will write back that item box detail into the Acumatica shipment record. But if I'm happening to do that first inside of Acumatica in that shipment record, again, if I'm using a warehouse management solution where I'm already packing and, and building my item box detail, however I define that shipment inside Acumatica, that's how it will come into Starship. Uh, so up top here with the shipment record, even if this was sales order customer number, is our source field. So if I do happen to have my source document, you know, maybe I'm using a pick sheet or whatever I'm shipping against, if I have that number barcoded, I can use a simple wedge type plug and play scanner and scan in that source information. Uh, over here, as you see, I've applied a filter. So we allow a, you know, to narrow down the search results. Maybe I can apply any of these filters. I can even sort by any of these columns. You know, maybe I want the latest uh, shipment number up top. Uh, from here, I, again, I can manually come down in here and look and find orders and select them. As you see, uh, I can click the checkbox and then go to create shipment, or I can even just slide over here and click the little truck icon. Do that. And what Starship's simply going to do is bring in all that order header or shipment record detail information, simply data mapping the fields from Acumatica. So we're just doing these mappings. Um, you know, if someone needs to change a mapping, it's not like we have to get in and do custom program. Again, it's just communicating simple data map to the Acumatica database. All right, so up here's the source. So there's my company that I'm pulling from. And we, of course, support multiple branches, divisions, so on and so forth, locations. Um, in this case, here's my sales order number. Here's my shipment record. Sender information, of course, is the company we're sending this from. Now, in this drop down here, I'm going to go into, uh, we fully support blind or drop shipment. So if anyone's doing where, in this case, oh, it's the shipment's for Walmart. I, I need to uh, show that it's coming from Walmart. As you see, Starship supports that. Now, I mainly went in and selected this. Again, with Starship, you're gonna see the name of the game is to streamline that shipping process. So the less things as a shipper, I have to click, touch, type, the better. So if we wanted to streamline this, we could have Starship look at 
you know, maybe a different field inside Acumatica, even attribute fields we can look at. And we could use those different fields to actually have Starship automatically know, oh, yep, this is for Walmart. I need to manually change that or automatically change that, I should say. All right. Recipient information simply from the ship too. Uh, Starship will also do address validation. Um, you know, we are going to validate zip plus four, so that's going to help save on those address correction fees. Now, under the transportation, um, I'm going to simply drill down into this. But just looking at the ship via, and Starship automatically knows to select carrier service account billing information. Anyone, if you're doing third party or collect shipments, Starship can automate that process as well, where this could come in, automatically select third party. And here, as you see, the USA bartending school has automatically been selected for me. So this is just part of Starship's database where you could set up and store your own customer's account information. And again, I know this lives inside Acumatica, so we could actually even pull it from Acumatica, but just know Starship can also store information like that. So here's the address information. Here's the account information. Um, so just another way to help streamline that process. And again, my system set up, it automatically knows the orders for USA Bartending School. As you see, it's automatically selected it from that drop down. So I'm just going to change that back to prepaid, you know, minimize this. Uh, shipment detail, it's simply all our shipment options. So here, you know, inside Acumatic, if I had insurance selected, I could have Starship automatically look at that and it would select it when it comes in. You know, we have customers that do insurance and Starship can even automatically populate the declared values. Uh, I have some customers that do it based on the sales order total. I have other customers that do it based on what the order of total of what we're only shipping. So our shipment value. And so we can have these fields automatically be selected by looking at Acumatica fields. Um, here in this case with Quantum View, which is UPS's email that they're going to send out to customers. Um, I have it always defaulted to be selected. It's always bringing an email address. And then I had mine set up to only use UPS's email if there was a delay or exception. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But a lot of customers have our uh, their system set up the same way. Now over here, these are just simply user-defined fields. So Starship has user-defined fields. They live on the shipment record detail, uh, the line item, uh, order header. So give customers and clients a lot of options with using additional fields. Um, so I've named a couple, as you see, there's nothing really pulling into them, but uh, just extra options. So if we needed to get additional information into Acumatica, maybe we need it on some documents or I want my shipper to see some additional information. It's very easy to do that. Again, simply data mapping those fields. All right, shipment status. Again, so that's just the status of the shipment. So if I wanted to, I could actually change the pickup time. Now, if this was an LTL shipment, I could actually change the pickup time as as well as the pickup date. Uh, so maybe you know, I do have a customer that, oh, the trucking company is right down the road. If I process a shipment first thing in the morning, because again, Starship with that integration to an LTL carrier, it's going to let them know that well, they have something ready to go, you know, send a truck. So they actually, what they do is send, uh, change the pickup time uh, because again, the truck would come too early if they um, didn't do that. Packaging. So packaging is where we can get into the item to box detail with inside Starship. Now, again, if I was defining this inside of the shipment record, it would already come in predefined. Uh, but here in this case, I'm going to mainly do it inside of Starship. Now, one thing that's going on with this laptop, there is a packaging scenario set up and with Starship packing, packaging scenarios can be automatically learned or of course we can manually create them. But in this case, Starship knows, oh, shipping a laptop, I know that needs to go into a box called laptop. All right, so already packaged for me. Now my system set up that if there's no other packaging scenarios, as you see, it just drops them into Starship's default custom package. From there, if I wanted to, I can get into moving items around now. Item to box detail is not a requirement inside of Starship. Um, of course, it's going to at least have to have a weight. But from here, maybe I know oh, the motherboard also fits into that laptop box. So I can simply slide that up there. And then down here, this custom package drop down. This is simply just part of Starship's database where you can set up and store your own custom packaging. So that could be bags, bales, pallets, what have you. But in this case, maybe I know ah, that goes into a medium box. Now, the nice thing with using the, uh, the packaging is over here, the dimensions are automatically going to populate. So back over here is my unit quantity. 
Uh, if we allow our shippers to change that, we do, uh, you know, we can do that inside Starship. So maybe I need to back order something. Of course, the right back, it would back order it inside of Acumatica. Now, my system, the weights are actually being pulled from Acumatica. So I don't have to weigh anything. But of course, if I had a scale, I could put the box on a scale and mainly type in the weight. Or even if I had a scale that was integrated, Starship would automatically return the package weight. Now, next door is the bill weight. So this is where those dimensions come into play because nowadays dimensional weight is a big deal between UPS, FedEx, even USPS does it now. And as you see here, Starship will do the correct carrier calculation based off of the bill or based off the dimensions. Okay. So in this case, I'm trying to say this is 20 pounds, but UPS is saying, nope, it's 22. Same thing down here. I'm saying five. Nope, dimensionally it's seven. So when this gets processed, Starship is going to send this information at, at the bill weight. So later on, as a customer, I'm not going to get the bill that says, oh, here, you sent this box out at 20 pounds. It should have been 22. You know, here's the difference. Okay, so going to send out at the correct dimensional weight. Down below line item detail, simply just the line items from this order. Now with Starship, we like to automatically start storing your inventory items in our own database. And that's because maybe we don't have, maybe this is freight class. Again, Starship can do LTL shipments, um, international like in this case. So maybe I don't have that information living inside Acumatica. It could actually be stored inside a Starship and then Starship would here automatically populate, in, populate that information for my shipper. Over here is international, as you see, can store all that required international data. Even the schedule BR harmonized code, we have a lookup for that. You know, here I can even apply a, a query. Maybe I wanna narrow my search results down. But if this item was missing a harmonized code, in this case, Starship would tell me, I can simply come in here, look up the code, select it. And then of course, once I process this shipment, the next time I bring it in, Starship would automatically remember that information. Okay, so down below, this is where we get into that live rating. So here, I see all my different the carriers that I have set up in my system, UPS, FedEx. I'm gonna see my list charges, so those are published list rates. My live negotiator rates right here under contract charges. And then applied charges are simply plus or minus freight rules. So inside Starship, we can set up freight rules. Uh, looks like I have one here set up, so I'll just jump up top, drill down into it. It looks like, oh, we're doing a flat rate in this case because there's a computer on this shipment. So, hey, the computer's fragile. We have to use additional packaging material. So let's help cover for the cost. As you see here, anytime this laptop's going to be on this on an order, Starship automatically will add a flat rate of three dollars. Now, freight rules can be percentages, min maxes, of course, flat rates uh, can be based off list price, off of the contract price, um, and we allow for unlimited freight rules. Also, you know, we can go down by customer, maybe by certain customers. Again, maybe we're doing a special promo code, you know, and that's going to live in attribute field or even on a comment line. Um, simply put, Starship can look at all those different fields to actually trigger freight rules. Now with the rating, as you see, my system automatically runs the rating, but it's selecting the carrier based off what's been brought in from the ship via. Now I can also set up Starship to do ship via rules. So I can customize it and say, okay, Starship, you automatically rate shop my shipment. And I want you to always automatically select the least expensive, maybe carrier service, maybe least expensive, least amount of business days. So now again, as a shipper, I don't have to come down and worry about the rating. You know, I can even do a ship via call best way. Have it come in, Starship will just have the transportation field blank. It would rate shop, automatically then select that carrier service based on the rule I have set up. And again, one last thing I have to worry about. Now, kind of drag this out, showing you all the different options, but really the workflow is I bring in an order, either sales order, shipment record, again, maybe get into some item to box detail. Maybe I want to manually look through the, the rates, but when I'm ready, I can either click the ship and process button or under the shipment drop down. As you see, we have shortcut keys. I can save a shipment. I can do the full ship and process. I could also do a ship and create a return label at the same time. In this case here, I'll just gonna quickly click uh, ship and process. Now in a live environment, of course, what Starship's gonna do is automatically generate the shipment documents. Uh, for the sake of the demo here, I'm just gonna preview everything. 
And we'll slide over here. Uh, so here is, and with this demo, I'm also using our smart label. And as you can see, a smart label will generate a shipment label and a packing list together. Uh, so this would go to a laser printer, but most certainly can send a shipping label to a thermal printer or printers. If we happen to have UPS going to a certain uh, thermal printer and FedEx going to a different one, Starship fully supports that. Our packing list, that can also go to a thermal printer, or of course we can send it to a laser printer, or even uh, maybe we just wanna save it to a network share folder. We can do that as well. So box one, uh, here's box two. There's box two. Um, also, as you see this packing list, I've added our company logo, so they can be customized. Uh, unlimited templates for each of the documents. And then on each document, we can even get into assigning printing rules. So maybe again, this was for Walmart, and Walmart wants their logo on a packing list. I can simply create a template for Walmart, add that logo, and then Starship would know, oh, yep, it, this shipment's for Walmart. I always need to use this certain document or document. Now, because this was an international shipment, Starship can generate the international document. Same thing if this was an LPL shipment, we can do bill lading forms, pallet labels, but here's the certificate of origin, order header, line item detail, automatically gonna populate. And then my document, as you see down below, I have it already signed, dated, and all this information already filled out. So as a shipper, I don't have to stop and manually do that. Um, also, here's a commercial invoice, same thing, information automatically gonna populate. And then down below, this one's just customized, so it's signed and dated, ready to go. So again, as a shipper, I'm going to click Ship and Process, receive my shipping documents. As you see here, then it's automatically going to take me back to the main Starship screen, where I just can move on, go through that process again, and select my next shipment or sales order, you know, Ship and Process, Ship and Process. All right. So I'll jump back into Acumatica. And we'll show you the right back. So I'm just going to go back to the shipments here. All right. So here's shipment 1441. As you see, it's been confirmed. Also, a little note because Starship can write back notes. So let's drill down into that. We'll show you the right back. All right. So again, status confirmed. I'm going to go to the shipping. Here's the freight right back. So freight cost, we're writing back your live negotiated rate. And then freight price, of course, is plus or minus any freight rules. So freight price is what I'd be charging the customer, and freight cost is what I'm going to be charged by the carrier. Packaging, there we go. Um, box ID. Now, as you see, reverse translate those packages that I selected inside Starship. I automatically populated that in the box ID field. Here's my tracking information. And, of course, down below it is the item to box detail, so what I had in each box what I shipped. Uh, up to back top here, customer reference one and two, that's up to you what you write back. I'm doing weight as well as the estimated delivery date and time. And then as I mentioned on the notes, uh, same thing with this, whatever you would like to write back here, really up to you. Uh, so here's the ship, I have ship time, ship weight, uh, and then the package tracking information. So again, that's completely customizable. Uh, whatever we want to write back there, we can get back into that field. So that's the right back. Um, and real quick, what I want to do is show you a couple of all other features that are included with Starship. I showed you the rate quote, so that is included, requires no additional user seats or licenses. Um, we also include our dashboard, or sorry, we'll start with eNotify program. Uh, with eNotify, as you can see here, this is why a lot of our customers and why I have my demo system set up to actually just use the carrier generated emails for exception, because with eNotify, I can create my own custom email. I can pull in Acumatica fields like PO, sales orders, you know, let my customer know how it's being shipped, where it's going. Again, item to box detail, estimated deliveries coming from the carrier, you know, expect two packages. Tracking numbers are hyperlinked. This would send them right back to the carrier's website. Also with these, just like the printing documents, we can set up unlimited templates. And then instead of printing rules, we can actually do emailing rules. So, you know, maybe here I have this 20% off promo code. Uh, here's the promo code, which of course you can hyperlink, get the customers right back to your website. But maybe I only want this to go to certain customers. So I can create this template, set up that rule, and then this would only be emailed to those certain customers. And I'm just going to go back into Starship to show you our dashboard program. So also with dashboard included, uh, can have as many users log into this uh, with the standalone dashboard, uh, just like that rate shop screen I showed you. 
all, all our customer service reps would have access to is this dashboard program. So they wouldn't see any of this. I just have it all combined for the sake of the demo. But uh, with dashboard here, I just have some history and status lookups right now. But uh, we've had a heat map. So maybe I want to see my hot spots where I'm shipping all my shipments to. Simply can look at that through this heat map. Uh, maybe I just want to see top statistics here. You know, top five users, carriers, customers. Um, again, here's just an overview. But look and feel of this could be by user login. Uh, so really up to you know our user how they want this to be laid out. Okay, so great reporting tool. Again, it's included. Requires no additional user seats or licenses for Starship. All right. Um, so again, really brief over overview. Please feel free to reach out to me if you'd like to schedule a more in-depth one-on-one call. Thanks again. Take care.